So you just landed your trick in session, finished all the editing for your footage, saved your replay, and now you're wondering, where's the video file on my PC? Session doesn't actually save replays as a video file, they save within the game. So when you go to load replay, you can see all the replays you saved within the map that they were created in. And within the replay editor is the only way you can view your clips at the time of recording this. In order to have a video file of your clip so you can upload to YouTube or put it into a video editor, you're gonna need a recording program like OBS Studio, Shadow play or game bar to record the screen. Personally, I use two main recording programs to record any of my clips in session, OBS Studio and Game Bar. So that's what I'm going to be showing you in this video. First, I'm going to start with a recording program you probably didn't know was already installed in your PC, Game Bar. This is pre-installed on every Windows 10 and Windows 11 system. Now you can bring this up at any point if you hold the Windows key and press G. So in the top corner here, I've got my recording options. So I have screenshot. I can take a screenshot of like whatever's on the screen at the moment. You can record the last 30 seconds of gameplay. You can start your recording or you can turn your mic on while recording. And right here will tell you the current screen or app that you're recording. If you click see my captures or go to gallery, it'll bring up your gallery of like whatever you've taken a picture of or recorded. And if you click this top button right here, open in file explorer, it'll take you right to the actual folder itself. So instead of opening this every single time you want to record something, there are shortcuts that you can do and you can customize the shortcuts. But by default, we have one for recording. And that one is Windows key plus Alt plus R. So I'm going to press that right now. And you're going to see a little thing on the top corner. I'm going to play. Got my clip. Press it again. That ends the recording. And now we have a video file of the clip that we wanted. So I just press play. We can watch it from here. Or you can go into the folder explorer and see it from there. You can rename it if you want to. And then click accept. And if we go back to our captures folder, we can see the video clip right here. So now you can just drag that into a video editor. Or you can just share it online. Now if you go to settings search for game bar, go to captures. And this is where you're going to change things like your video quality, your frame rate, volume levels and volume quality, max recording length, and being able to set this to always record so you can record the last 30 seconds or whatever you set. By default, your captures folder is located in your videos folder on this PC. And you can see a captures one right here. If you want this default location to be on any other drive, all you do is just take this captures folder and drag it to wherever you want. The record information follows that specific folder. So that's how to record session with Game Bar. Now I'm going to show you how to record your clips using OBS Studio. Hello. Obviously your setup's not going to look like this, so let me wipe everything. OBS Studio is good for when you want a much higher quality recording and more recording settings. First you'll need to download the program, so go to the OBS Studio website. I'll leave the link in the description. Click on the platform that you're on, so I'm on Windows. I just click on Windows. Should start downloading. Open the OBS Studio exe file and uh, you should be greeted with this page set it up, install it, do all that. Open OBS Studio and it should look like this. Now, first we're gonna start with the settings. From here, we're gonna go down to video and then we're gonna change our resolution. So for output scale resolution, I usually like to keep this on 1920 by 1080. Same with base canvas resolution. But you can always go higher or lower. You can set this custom if you want. Now we have to set our frames per second. You can keep it at 30 if you want, but I like to use 60. Now we're gonna go up to audio and then we're gonna set our game audio. Now these options are gonna be completely different for everybody depending on what you have. So usually you can just click on default and set it to that. But for me, I know that my system records on this one. Now we're going to go to output and then we're going to change output mode to advanced. You can keep it as simple if you want to. And then select the recording tab. First, we're going to set the recording path. So where do you want to save your video files? So once you found the folder that you want to save to, you go to recording format and you can keep it at MKV if you want, but I like using MP4. Audio track, we just need one right now, but you can set this to as many audio tracks as you need. For the encoder, it all depends on what your system is. So I have an NVIDIA graphics card. I'm going to be using H.264, but you can use X.264 if you want. So just figure out what's best for your system. The recording section is done. So now we move on to the encoder section. These settings are personal preference and they all kind of depend on your PC performance. So for me, I like to use constant bitrate. For the bitrate, you definitely want to have this number up quite a bit. So maybe at like 10,000, but the higher the number, the better the quality is. So for my recordings, I usually use about 25,000. Keyframe intervals, I set to two. The preset kind of depends on what your computer can handle. So uh, 
you can keep it on good if you want, but for me, I know I can uh, boost it up to best. Tuning, keep it at high quality. Multi-pass mode, I just keep this on two pass. And then I just leave everything else and uh, just click apply. You can mess around with all the other settings if you want, like hotkeys or like anything in general, but I'm just showing you all the basics just to get a recording of your clip. Now we need to add the actual gameplay source. So under sources, go down to this plus button and click it. You can choose either window capture, game capture or display capture. Now I use game capture. Rename this to session. This little box should pop up and I like to change the mode to capture specific window. And now we can change this to record a specific window. So I have session open right now. You're gonna wanna have session open for this. Click on session and you should see the preview right here. Uncheck the capture cursor. You definitely don't want your cursor to be on the screen accidentally. And then you're done with that. Just click okay and it's all set up. I like to turn this down just a little bit so I don't get any clipping. So all that's left to do is actually record your clips so click start recording and then you can go back to your game and i'm going to turn up my audio play it bam you just go back stop recording and you're done congratulations you now just recorded your first clip now you can open the folder that you saved your recordings in and uh, open it up or drag it into a video editor or something like that but uh, we can just watch it back eventually it took a little while for me to actually press play Boom, backside flip, all done. So that's how to turn your session clips into video files on PC. If you wanna learn how to use the replay editor, click this video right here and uh, I will catch you in the next one.